Say it again. What was your vantage point on David's pick there to win it? I was on the bench. I felt like when I was on the bench, they were they were they were, they were making plays, and so I had sat back down, and when I seen we got the pick, I was me and Todd were jumping up, hugging. So I was happy we were able to still win. You tried down David. What did you tell him? By the time I got to him, I was trying to talk, but I was so tired, running about 90 yards to get to him. I just told him great play, and um, he my brother, man. I was, I was just happy, you know, just excited. This game play out like it. I didn't expect it to end like that, but did it play out like you thought it would? Kind of a physical affair where you had to kind of show some fight to win it. Yeah, I mean, defense show show fight. Um, you know, they they never gave up. Um, being being resilient, um, uh, making plays and. Do what they need to do to be able to help us win the game, and you know, just proud of those guys, man, because they work hard mm-hmm. um, day in, day out throughout the week, and you know, just excited to see it all come together. Is this street kind of what you envisioned you and Byron? You had that meeting um, after the Bills game. You guys talked a long time. Yeah. Like, yeah. Just you know, we just got to play complimentary football, and um, you know, put it all together, you know, on, on on Sundays, and you know, no matter you know how it goes, or you know. How we win, I mean, it's a win. And we go to the win column. So, you know, just, just enjoy these three three wins in a row. And it was hard to win in this league. And, you know, happy that we were able to turn things around these past three weeks. So it seemed like Washington was in it because they, they made their share of big plays. You got yours when, when Nick came down with that ball that set you guys up for the go ahead touchdown. How, how big did the offense stuck with it and, and found a big chunk play? Man. Yeah, that was huge. Um, you know, Nick getting that catch and making the big play. And a uh, uh, big part of the game, so yeah, that was huge, and um, we we'll need more of that. You guys lead the NFL in red zone success, three for three today on touchdowns. Pretty critical to your success offensively to do that. Um, it's just great to us. Um, my coach emphasizes it um, every week, and you know, we want to get the ball in the end zone. So you mentioned that complimentary, excuse me, complimentary football. What is it that keeps you guys from pointing fingers when it's not exactly complimentary? Um, I mean, we're a team. I mean, it takes all of us. I mean, we're not going to blame, uh, you know what I'm saying, point out individuals. You know, it takes all of us. So I we understand that. I mean, that's, we just don't do that. We, it's collectively. How much does this team need a bind, and how good is it to head in the moment, head into the bind with more some momentum? Um, yeah, I mean, it'd be good to let, let guys rest up, um, get their body back under them, and then get some guys back, hopefully, and, um, you know, enjoy the bye week, get away from the game, and, and when it's time to come back, get back to work. The two screen sequence worked out pretty nicely with you and, and Don Trell. Fall fun was that? Yeah, that was, was a lot of fun. Just happy we were able to make a play. Um, I was able to get catch a screen and um, get some yards, and Don Trell got his made a touchdown. So anytime we ever do that, we're always happy. Heard a lot of the guys on both sides of the ball today saying that it was good, but it can't be better. How encouraging is it that you've won three in a row, you're on top of the division, you're going to the five, but you can't be better? I mean, that's always the focus. Um, and the focus on getting better and improving, um, no matter what the, com- the outcome is, and you know, continue to do that each and every day. And I'm sure you guys will you know, get away a little bit, but be ready to work and get better when we come back. Back to 500 yard game for you. How, how, how high is your confidence level right now? How high is my confidence level? Yeah. I mean, playing? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be me each and every Sunday. So, I mean, uh, me. Well, man, it's just you know you got to find a way to win, and and we uh, we know how to do that. And that's how sometimes that it's going to be in this league. Um, defend every blade of grass, and uh, guys came up huge at the end. Were you thinking maybe a timeout there? No, I mean I think just, other than just to see what a defense was, but not you know not letting them score, not when they need a touchdown. You know, I mean I'm confident in what we're, what we've done down there in the past. Um, that could change based on if they need a field goal, Paul. I think that that's something that. You know, we talk long and hard about is if a field goal beats you, I think that's a different story. But, you know, a touchdown, we've just had too many stops down there and done too many good things down there. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Sure. The players, you know what I mean? The players and just being confident in what we're doing. Um, you know, I thought there was some, you know, some good calls down there. They, you know, had them, you know, I think they were expecting one thing and clearly got another and, you know, almost had the interception there um, earlier um, with Christian. You made a lot of plays down there, but can you speak to Long's play specifically, how you read it and make such a good break on it? Well, I think it's just getting back there in the spots and, you know, 
something that we've been trying to work on and a vision and a break. And, you know, we need more ball production, more ball disruption. Uh, that's something that we're going to have to have on defense. And this was a good place to start was, you know, with the game on the line. When you have guys like Autry and Simmons, you know, how much does that make it where you guys can so much get that pressure with that front court? It looks like that's what, you know, those guys are really driving that point. Yeah, I mean, those guys are great for us. Um, you know, it just, it's just going to have to be better. You know, everything's going to have to be better. Those, those guys have been uh, fantastic uh, leaders for us, productive players. I was proud of the way that Danico kept his composure. Um, you know, and then Jeffrey obviously coming back and, you know, he apologized for whatever he did on the quarterback and then, you know, coming back and being able to help us. Well, I think it's just, you know, we, 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 we took it uh, pretty good against Buffalo on a Monday night, came back on a short week, and you know, we found a way to win three games in a row. Uh, so I think that this bye week is going to be a great opportunity for us to catch our breath, uh, to get some guys healthy. We got some guys that play a lot of football for us um, just because they have to, and uh, you know, we need to take care of them. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, certainly not what anybody wanted or expected or what, what we think that is standard. You know, that you got to take care of your quarterback. Only, only bad things are going to happen when he's getting pressured and hit. Their ability to stay in it, hitting the big plays, what, what's kind of the messaging there in terms of staying, staying in it? And Tackle and stay on top. That was what the message was all week was, you know, not give up X plays and tackle. And when they missed tackles led to, to points and the X plays led to points. What's your thinking when, when you guys talk about it all week and then it happens? Anyway? Same thing everybody else was thinking. Consider how the second half has gone. When they score and you're backed up again and then Ryan gets out of that play and keeps it down to 62 yards, how big was that play to help you? Well, I thought the protection there was outstanding. I thought Ryan you know, wanted to go to Chig. They came off. Ryan climbed the pocket. Um, which was which was great, and and Nick Westbrook did what we, you know, need to do more of is, is go up and make a play on a football when it's in the air, go attack it, and make a play. How well has Ryan done with that throughout the course of the season when he's been under duress? Well, I mean, I don't, you know, we can't have him be under duress. You know, it's like, you know, we got to block him so we can get some of these plays off. You know, we want to take some shots. I, you guys asked me about throwing shots, so. We got to figure out what we're going to do to, to take care of the quarterback and, and continue to do those things, you know. And the penalties hurt us, you know. The penalties, you know, we had some runs there that were, you know, really great runs and X play runs, and the penalties hurt us there. Those times when you do get into the red zone, it seems like you maximize. I think your top in the league, and what would you say is behind those? You know, well, I think that you know, I mean, we've talked about this before that there's banked reps, you know, reps that they've been running from April. You know, and then being able to put some scheme plays in and, and have everybody understand them for, for that particular week. So you know, we, we need to do better uh, before we get down there, you know, making sure that we're, we're consistent in our ability to, to, to get down there, to continue to produce red zone drives where we have you know, scored touchdowns. That's been the difference. Uh, and how much does it have a guy like Henry on two yards? That's yeah, well, I mean, it, it, it helps. You know, I mean, it helps. But there, you know, some of these defenses, there's guys that are free and, you know, we, we did a nice job of covering him up, and Derek was able to, to score. You know, I thought that the short yardage run was, was good. I wish we could have been able to capitalize on that. Uh, unfortunately, that we couldn't. Um, but, you know, Derek, you know, caught the ball great. I mean, really nice catch on a screen. Fantastic, you know, catch to go and frame it and catch it out in front of his eyes. Um, turn and get up and, and produce, you know, change some field position, and then Dontrell scored on the next play. Was Nate close? And Uh, Nate, Nate was inactive. He wasn't one of the eight though linemen. Was it an easy call where you were going next or did those guys have a close practice week? No, I, Dylan was prepared to go in there. Anything else? Um, I mean, we practiced that, you know, the red zone all week. Um, you know, they moved me around a little bit, you know, from Mike to money and stuff, you know, so it was, I was prepared for the play. 
Um, just the, the thing is, you know, we never panicked. You know, we they made some plays. You know, we never planned. We know what type of uh, players we got on the side of the ball. So, you know, you never panic. Just make a play. How many jump balls like this do you shoot in <laughs> Everyone. Um, but this was my first one um, of the year in. Um, you know, just playing in D.C. And, you know, I, I saw some some people out here. And it, you know, it was just a different type of feeling before the game, you know. Um, you know, I just I don't know. I just felt so good about today. You know, uh, it was a tough one, you know, but we, we pulled it through. What was the celebration like when you guys got to you? Um, it was just a relief, man. Like, cause the whole drive, they was making plays. You know, we kept everything in front. They got out of bounds. You know, then you know it was a penalty. They got them close to the goal line. The thing is, you know, we got to that point. I'm smiling at them, like, you know, this is what we built for. This is what you dream of. Don't panic. You know, somebody make a play, and we we walk off the field. You know, it just ended up being me. You know, but it's a team effort. <laughs> Uh, it was a big one, you know, but, you know, we gonna, uh, it's hard to win in this league. Uh, we going to enjoy this. You know, it was a good one going into the bye week. Um, get some guys back, you know, healthy, you know, and just, just keep this thing going. Defensively, you guys had to do it without a lot of guys. Yeah. How, how is that process been, you know, how rewarding is something, something yeah. like this? Yeah. I mean, it's been good. I mean, um, you know, some, some players, you know, get in. Um, less experience, some plays happen. But the thing we teach on that defense, you know, just uh, prepare like you're a starter, you know, the whole week. Um, and just whenever your name is called, just take advantage of the opportunity. You know, some somebody's gonna make a play. You know, we all you know we all get paid in this league. You know, both sides of the ball. Um, so, so those guys are only gonna make plays. It's just how you respond to it. You know, I think we responded well. That play that you made, it was kind of like what you do pregame, as far as drops and breaking on the ball. Yep. How like, much does that kind of create that muscle memory, and how essential is it? You know, that preparation to do something. It's so essential, man. Like I said, we we practice a lot. You know. Uh, the red zone every week, you know, that was just an emphasis, you know, um, making sure I can, um, as far as backside and, and, the, and the defense that we were playing, you know, I'm going to say too much. Uh, just, you know, just to be patient, you know, and just let everything come to you early in the game. Um, me personally, I got hit with some plays because I was too aggressive. Um, and this time I was just, you know, just calm, collective, you know, just making sure somebody make a play, you know, get off the field. Are you still out there when they sit down by contact and, and send the uh, offense back out? Yeah, yeah, I was still out there. You know, I, I ain't lead the field. I think I probably one of the last one to lead the field. You know, just showing his love, you know, to the fans that was out there that came along with. David, you guys have had a handful of goal line stands late in games yeah. to win over the last few years. Where does that resolve come from? Um, I just think that that just says a lot about us, man. Hard nose, you know, blue collar, you know, and just never panic. You know, uh, that just showed there. You know, over I can we can bring up a lot of games where it just came down to that that last. Even this year, you know, it comes down to that last drive or that last series, you know, and somebody has to make a play, you know. So, um, offense, you know, made plays. They got us some points on the board. You know, we just had to, you know, uh, finish it off, you know, when we did. How big a deal was it to have this many Titans fans travel to work together? Uh, no, it was, it was a big deal, man. It was kind of flat um, in there, you know, going in. So, we was like the whole game, like, create our own energy, you know, uh, especially on the field. Uh, so, you know, we were just feeding off each other, you know, trying to create that energy in the whole game. Somebody make a play, you know, we, it's flat. Let's get it back up, you know, just, just constantly, you know, just keeping us, you know, uh, our swagger, you know, in the game. Thanks, Yeah, we believe in each other. We're going to keep battling and find a way to win. You know, I think that's what uh, has been proven the last few weeks is uh, we believe in each other. We're going to keep battling no matter what's happening and um, ultimately find a way to win. How big was uh, the connection with Nick? What did you see? Yeah, it was a huge play. You know, great play by Nick. Um, you know, really kept us in the game there. You know, he uh, had a post route. Uh, the corner fell off late to, to Chig, who was running a sail route. Um, saw him late, so I had to pull the ball back. Saw his one-on-one -on -one down the field. Um, the safety had good leverage to, to take away the post, but uh, I knew it was one-on-one. -on -one, so it was basically just a trust throw, uh, giving my guy a chance to go up and make a, make a play on the football. And Nick made a great adjustment to the football and, and made the play for us. Yeah, I just kept believing. You know, I think I've seen over the over the years here, our defense is just going to keep battling and and uh, defend every blade of grass. You know, uh, so I kept the faith and, and believed that they were going to make a play. Didn't know what was going to happen, who was going to make the play, but um, you know, David came up huge there at the end. You know, I I couldn't really see. I saw the back go out, run the angle route, coming back inside, but then it kind of went behind the O line. I couldn't see anything, and then all of a sudden, David's running with the football. So. Uh, I don't know exactly how it all played out, but great play by David. Obviously, reading it out and um, you know coming up huge for us. Uh, 
Yeah, no doubt it grows. You know, just believing in each other that we're going to find a way to win. And winning's contagious, you know. So um, you get that taste, you get that feeling, you get that locker room after the game. Those are things that you never forget is, is celebrating in those locker rooms after wins. And uh, as the team gets a taste of that and starts, starts feeling that, it really brings you together as a team. And that belief only grows. So, um, you know, got some good things going. Need to clean up some things, but got some good things going. And uh, just want to keep the foot on the gas and keep going. What would you say that comes from the guys in the locker room. You know, I think, um, you know, this is, it's not an easy game, right? It's a tough game, and uh, we got tough guys in the locker room. You know, I think it, uh, the message is sent from, from Coach Vrabel, but uh, it's guys in the locker room that believe in each other and, uh, and don't lose faith. You know, it keeps to the process of, of trying to get better each and every week. You know, we had a long season in front of us, um, and we still do. Still have to keep improving week in and week out. Um, you know, we're just, just scratching the surface. So, uh, you know, it really comes down to the guys in the locker room believing each other, staying hungry each and every week, going out to the practice field, trying to take advantage of the reps that we get out there, uh, working together as a team, and just steady improvement throughout the season. You guys hit a lot. You're under a lot of pressure. How important was it to just be able to run the ball like you did after that? And how important is it also to kind of get some that cleaned up those four weeks time just so much to rest? Yeah, no doubt. They, they hit a good job of, of – uh, getting guys in the backfield. Um, we knew that coming in, that they were going to have a, a good front. Um, and they did a good job of, of getting pressure. So I uh, definitely have some things to clean up there. But our guys kept battling. You know, on the one I had to pull back and, and get the ball down the field, I had time to be able to do that, pull the ball back and, and launch it. So um, there's some good things in there, too. Guys protected at certain times, protected well. Uh, so you know, have some things to clean up. But overall, um, you know, proud of the way our guys battled, and we found a way to win. It's huge. We talk about it a lot. Uh, you know, we've been solid in the red zone since I've been here. So uh, it's something that we believe in. We put a lot of effort and in, in, um, influence in. I mean, not as influence, not as a bad word. Um, intention. Uh, we put a lot of intention into it. Something that, that we work, you know, throughout the spring, throughout training camp, and then obviously, you know, coming in each and every week trying to get a good, um, a good plan together and then go out and execute it. So. We know when we get down there, these games are, are going to be tight and inevitably in the NFL, most games come down to, to one score game. So um, if you take, take a look at it, you're going to score when you get down in the red zone. So uh, there's a lot of belief that when we get down there, we're going to score. Good to have the screen game to work to success when we first did the Derrick and then the one right after that to Dontrell. Yeah, back to back screens. You know, you don't see that a whole lot. Uh, kudos to Todd for um, you know, making those calls. It's two great calls um, to get the ball. You know, they're getting a lot of pressure at that point uh, early in the game. So getting the ball, uh, you know, behind that rush, trying to take advantage of that, that speed rush. Uh, and, um, and the guys made plays. You know, Derek, obviously, with the big run. And then, um, you know, the second one there, Dontrell had to get it on him quickly uh, just because of the, of the pressure there. He was able to make a good catch and then obviously turn it up and score.